Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to a new video. Today it is time for the second session, the final session of our semi-final of the China Championship against the Welsh Potter Machine, Mark Williams. And at the moment, at the mid-session interval, as you'd have seen in the previous episode that came out on Friday, we lead by three frames to one. And I think we've got the measure of Mark Williams. In the match against Mark Allen, it was five that was the magic number, not six. And we went in at the mid-session interval at two frames apiece. We then came out in the episode after... Won the first three frames and got through to the semi-final without really breaking too much of a sweat. And in one of the frames earlier, I think it was frame number three, this man here that you can see um, played some stupid shots and managed to lose the frame on the free miss rule. Now, um, a few of you in the comments have quite rightly pointed out that, you know, it's... Um, silly from the AI that it's, it's definitely a problem with the game, it's a bug... And uh, that's definitely the case. But ultimately, you, you can only beat who you're up against. And Again, there was no point letting him hit that shot all, all day, all week, whatever. And uh, well, no surprises here with the long pot I think we made the right decision by putting him in, really ultimately. But here. at the start of the fifth frame, don't worry if you're thinking, well, I missed the break. I didn't. Um, we do play the break-off shot in the previous video, just to make sure we don't have any... Errors with saving the game, etc. And the break-off was from Mark Williams. And it was uh, a very poor break-off in terms of leaving anything safe. So I think Mark Williams has lost his head a bit. However, we've still got to take the opportunities that handed to us. To see if we can get through to the China Championship okay. Final. This will be our first China Championship Final if we get there. We were knocked out at this stage last year by Ding Junhui. And if we can go 4-1 up this, with this opportunity here, it's a real chance. It really is. 15. It's not impossible for Mark. I completely understand that. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's a fair way back from there. I want to make sure we don't put this cue ball in the middle pocket. And equally, we want to be very careful we don't get complacent. Because it's very easy when your opponent's not playing very well. To, you know, play stupid shots and just whack the ball everywhere. And think, well, you know, if, if I don't pop this ball, it's alright. Because He's taking on the pot our opponent won't cushion. get back in. 23. But things are going just okay at the moment. The Still very early on in this break, so need to maintain our focus. And it's a bit of an unconventional one, given that the Reds, um, yes, they are packed up, I guess, but they're not really placed in the orthodox way, with these five or six being out of, the, out of where they usually are. We have mucked this up a bit, really. This will test this technique. So, we're going to play the blue. Come back to the bulk cushion well, not the shot he was and try and go there. for the long red. I'm okay with that. I don't mind that. If this red that we were going for was right on the cushion, um, we would have a real problem. But since it's not, we should be okay on this. A bit hard potentially to get on the black, but let's see. Let's see if we pop the red first. That's, That's the most important that we do. Brilliant. We are on the black. That's good news. Very happy with the here. We might have to open up this pack of reds now. Because our play this with chance of to get a bit thin. Pardon the punt. Oh, for goodness sake. That's a there we go. This looks here. a decent split, but it's all about where the cue ball ends up. And to be honest, that doesn't look marvellous. Although, actually, it's not as bad as I initially thought. That's okay. Panic over. Panic over. Looking to play this softly. You would think this is an opportunity that's good enough to go and win the frame. But it's not over till it's over. We've got to keep potting the balls, not do anything stupid. And as I alluded to a little bit earlier on, with a lead of 4-1, we have got a real good chance. 
And I have noticed, um, because I'm recording this on Saturday, you see, when the previous episode has come out, that last episode um, has already gone past 100 views, which is excellent because this series has probably been getting about, I'd say about 80 maybe on average. I don't study the analytics of this every day of the week, but I do notice that on average this series is getting about 80 views. So for it to be um, on 100 views with less than 24 hours, that, that's, that's really great. So thank you all for your support. It means a lot. It really does. And whether that's just you liking the videos, watching them, potentially going in off with a cue ball. Oh, off. no. Wow. I thought there was a chance of that, but I thought the way we played it, we were just about okay. And this could be a big, big, big way back in for Mark Williams here. And the only reason I played that red was because the position on the next ball was going to be awkward from the Eight. next red. And really, we should have just played the red. Nine. Um, maybe not got position and, and just played safe, but that's 16. that's the charm of snooker sometimes, isn't it? That's the charm of 17. snooker. He's looking to but I would like to thank you, as I said, corner. for your support. Um, it is really immense. 22. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep watching. It's all I can ask. This looks relatively easy. So Willow is uh, 28 points behind with 43 on. I'll tell you what, if we give up this frame because of a stupid error, um, I'll be kicking myself. Position. This isn't easy, though. 26. I think he'll still pot it. He will. The question is and from here, how do you get on the next red? He'd be wise just to play up to this, but he's not going to. He's going to pot the yellow. Well, surely he's not on the red. No. So just a safety here. So he's 22 behind with 35 on. 29. And uh, really, we've made this a lot harder than we should have done. But ultimately, we are in this position. It makes things a bit more exciting for you guys, I guess, rather than just watching us knock the ball in. We might have a snooker here if this goes well. I think we might with the blue. You think he might set? No, he can just see. That's fine. For Willow, he's played full ball. Hits the black. Oh, that's a good shot. That is a good shot. Well, I think he's going to attempt the swerve here. See if we can swerve our way out of this. No, nope, we didn't hit it. We did that time, though. Need this to go past the... Ah, it hasn't gone far enough, chance. really. It's not easy, but a chance nonetheless. We need that to go a bit further towards the ball. But I tell you what, he's not played the pot. I'm amazed at that. Really am. And if we pot this, this could be a big get out of jail free card. It really could. Got to pot it though. I'm fairly confident in this. For it. And it's there. It's so we just need the colour, and we have really, really got away with one. One. I thought, um, especially when he was playing the snooker, that Mark Williams had got this frame. Strokes it in. And that is and a big opportunity missed for Willow. Okay, we've made the odd mistake, but that was really us almost turning off for a second and playing the second best shot just to be greedy for position. And ultimately the position was in the pocket and we weren't Eight. hoping for that. And we do now open up a free frame lead. 11. And I think for both players, obviously for Williams more so than us now in terms of his fight back, the next frame is crucial. Lose this and <laughs> long way back, really is. But if it wins it, 4-2, uh, you would suggest it's not a game that's all over, is it? We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Wonderful shot. 20. The only frustration is that we didn't really... We could have made that easier for ourselves. You know, we could have got rid of the headache. 26. But we got there in the end. Very much down to Willow's mistake. Playing a silly shot, really, but it doesn't matter. And the frame. We now win the fifth frame of the match. We lead by four frames to one.
Thank you. The sixth frame. Neil Robertson to break. And now it's time for the sixth frame. This, as I just alluded to, that's way too hard. 53% the break. We're going to get away with it. Yeah, no problems there. Not ideal position, but again, it doesn't leave a pot on, so that's the best thing. That's a win-win. As I said, this is a really, really big frame. And this is a shot. Again, we had another comment from, uh, I think it's Matthew Boy, his YouTube username is. Just said, you're better when you go for your shots. And that's exactly what we've done there. Sometimes it doesn't work out. One. But... Again, he, he left a half chance, and this is a potential chance to get started in frame number six now. The long pot's on, and he's going for it. What can we do from this chance? Great cue. Six. This looks pretty simple. Well, if we are to get through to the final, I really well hope that we play someone who... <laughs> I... I, I <laughs> Not anything against Mark Williams in real life, but certainly in this match. I hope we're playing against someone who's got a brain. He's going for it. Not what he intended. I mean, we haven't got much of one there, to be honest. Playing with top spin, tried to get this off the cushion far enough to go for the red. Can't get to this one, so that was a big misjudgment. Again, that old complacency idea. We're not quite there yet, but um, you have to say that we are making this harder than perhaps it should be for us. That's a good line, though. We might recover here by playing a good safety shot, and it looks like we have. Very well judged shot there. Neil Robertson... That was a good recovery, and he's hit the reds, and he's got out of that one pretty well. It's probably worth a fine cut here, bit of a safety and pot rolled into one to shot to nothing. And that wasn't too bad, we might leave a long shot on. Again, this is just what I was talking about. When you think your opponent's not going to punish you, you, make, you play silly shots really like that. And if Willow pots this, then you know you wouldn't forgive yourself. And he's missed that. But he hasn't. You know, that sort of chance and he's not punishing you. Granted, I know in real life you can easily miss those, but in Snooker 19 you would suggest probably not. One. You would say that's a potable ball. And the question is, if, you, if we can pot it as a player, then why can't the AI pot it? Surely you're getting a, an unfair advantage from a simulation experience then, aren't you? Players with a lot of backspin. Didn't want to hit the pink. Wants to just about avoid the wow. pink, which I think we probably would have done with the original pace of that shot. I think, to be brutally honest, we're chasing after this cue ball a bit too much. I think it would be wise to play a, a safety shot here. Let Mark Williams do some of the donkey work here, almost. That's beautifully judged. Because we are losing some of our momentum. Five. And that is sometimes helped by opening the reds up. That's exactly what Willow's done there. As I said in the previous frame, if you are playing against someone who's not playing very well, it's so easy One. to get into their mentality, I suppose, and, and play poorly yourself. And, and also that... If they are playing poorly, Six. use that to your advantage. Let them play the the poor shots and like here, give yourself a better opportunity rather than you having all the ball like. Seven. We 
doing our best to muck this up, though, it's fair to say. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. He had a good pot on the blue. It looks fine. Yep, it's dropped. Wasn't the most accurate in the world, but we'll take it. One of the issues is, of course, the black is tied up, which caused a bit of a frustration. But we'll try and get what we can from this opportunity. Mark Williams not potted a ball in this frame, so every pot he's we get is long potter, and he's taking this on. one that Willow can't get. Fantastic queuing. He's knocking them in for fun at the moment. He's looking very sharp here. 18. Just a pity our opponent isn't. Try and open these up a bit here, see if we can get the black free. I think we might have done it. Problem is, where's the red? 19. Where's the red we're going to be on? And the answer is, unfortunately, huh, I've nearly done a Jack Lazowski there. Thank God for the aiming aid. That's all I'll say. He just wants I think you all could guess from my commentary exactly what I was nearly about to do. What Jack Lazowski did the other week completely tied my eye off that. I thought I yeah, was going for a I red next. Well. I thought, well, but like why would you be going for a red if you've just uh, opened up the black by potting a red? It's amazing how the mind can forget Easy. these things. He's right on top of Applied that with a lot of pace to the middle pocket. Try and free something up. 27. Seems like a perfect opportunity to put this is an attempt to drop the cue ball in Willow in a bit of trouble. And we can't. That wasn't a, bat. That wasn't a great here. shot at all. Applied that too Neil hard. Robertson, 27. But again, he gives us no issue. He gives us no issue at all from a safety point of view. And funnily enough, the plaque is now uh, tied good. up again. Despite our best what efforts to not do so, obviously really we did pop queuing. the black on its spot, but I tell, I tell you what, I need to shut up because obviously I keep doing this. It's a bit worrying now. The amount of times I think I'm going bottom. for a going for a red when I'm not. No issues there. Oh, wonderful shot! But we're cruising really towards five-one. We're making a few mistakes. We're not playing beautifully, but. Again, by hook Just or by crook, we're keeping Mark board. Williams out quite easily. And we'll take it at this point. Four. This blue and the next red needed. Just need to make sure we don't do anything stupid here. Yeah, we won't. We'll go for this red, I think. We don't need to. I don't want to go for the one on the cushion one because on, knowing me, I'll end it. up playing backspin and playing it too hard and ending up with the cue ball in the corner those. pocket. Very nicely done. So position compromised nice. just slightly here. However, it's just this red needed. And uh, we make it 5-1. Just the red needed here. Looks okay to me. It's there. And that means no way back in this frame for his opponent. Ooh, nearly put the black into the middle pocket. It doesn't matter. He'll come back and try and get a snooker, no doubt. Neil and Robertson. if he does, we'll look like a bit of a, a lemon, but it wasn't really anything we could have done there. We know we needed the red. Oh, jammy sod. Jammy swine. He really doesn't want to let his opponent back into the frame with a foul here. There we go, we've hit the red. Thank God for that, we can breathe. We he'd do well to get a snooker out of this. The red's all in different positions, but I've seen it done in the past. <laughs> oh, why do we keep challenging ourselves at this crap? He's got it. Excellent. Again, shot. why do it's that whole battle of, you know, not um, giving yourself any real issue. And um, I think, don't think we're going to get out of it here. Unless we get a bit of luck. And my God, we get some luck. Whew. We didn't hit the first one. We didn't hit the second one. But luckily we hit the third. And as I said, we're just setting ourselves up for working too hard here. But we breathe a sigh of relief because he's not played the best pocket. safety that time. We'll pop the red and that should be well, the frame that's one. just outstanding. Superb pop. One. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. And we're only one frame away from the final. First final for a while. 
played John Higgins in the Gibraltar Open final well, last season. Onto the left Before that, we played in the Daffabet Ma No, we didn't. Not the Daffabet Masters point. final. Shanghai Masters final we got to. Seven. No, we didn't. Shut up. Well, we did, but we got to the Scottish Open final before that. Semi-finals are, are our big banana skin, but based on today's Taking performance, on you wouldn't know it, would you? Great there. I'm not worried about accumulating points, to be honest. I think we just play up to the black. He's not going to come back to the table. And get on with frame number seven. Mark he Williams is a man who's really not been in this match so far. And if there's ever a time for him to get back into it, the time is now. So we're allowed to break. Well, he's just gone for a bit of an aggressive one there. Has he left anything? Don't think so. Not anything easy anyway, but... Given we're 5-0 up, we might as well take on a half chance here. This won't be easy. Well, we've missed it. We thought we were going to fluke one there. Not quite. We need to be careful because chokes aside, it, we can end up losing this. I'll refer you to the Ronnie O'Sullivan match where we thought we were going to cruise. But it was worth a put. I think it was worth a punt at that pot. Eight. Nine. Fourteen. A delicate touch required here. Fifteen. Pace is very important. Twenty. Twenty-one. It's nice to see Mark Williams actually pot some balls, you know. Twenty-eight. He's been doing a lot of chair time. Can we scoff? But match isn't over till it's over. Twenty-nine. And if he goes for the black, how the hell is he going to get on a red now? He's going to have to play safe. Thirty-six. Which he is done it going to do. So he's not going to win this frame in one visit. Mark Williams, thirty-six. He played a clever shot to some extent there because. Um, he knows we can't pot anything. So we're just going to be as safe as we possibly can. I don't think we've hit the red there. He's played into the pit here, and that's an that was spell. terrible. Hit it just about too hard, and we actually missed the red, hit the pink. It's okay, though. But yeah, that we could have done with... Uh, <laughs> could have done with not doing that, really. It's a bit of a safety He's chance here, actually. The Tight on the cushion. Try and get the white. Uh, it's a bit hard, but again, it's fine. It's got to get this above the bulk line. The safety battle continues. Just played into them there. It's a strange shot, isn't it? I see. Can see something I can't. I don't know. That's a pretty poor attempt, really. Well, not really. How's that a poor attempt? Anybody explain? Just play this, give it a good whack, and uh, come back towards the black. Unless this red is a problem for us, and would you believe it? You could have played that better. Dave Hendon is a patronising git sometimes. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know why we... I mean... I don't think we've done too much wrong. I think I'm being incredibly harsh on myself here. We went for that aggressive shot at the start. It didn't come, it didn't come off. Mark Williams played well. Um, 14. Yeah, we... 
Just caught out on safety here. Twenty. I'd be shocked if he didn't win this frame from here. It's in a very strong position. Five reds left, 67 on the table. Just needs the black. To end a run of five successive frames for us, he's actually got six reds on the, on the table. So that's delayed a little bit longer. He just needs this red, though, which he has got. Nice. And with that, he ends the five-frame run, run of us winning. 29. 36. Just need to start probably to play a bit more conservatively, I'd say, next next frame. Um, we'll try and get a snooker here. What's the harm? It's, a, it's an easy one to get. I don't think he's going to... Well, I would say he'll get out of this one fairly easily. He's played that very well. You never well. know, though. Yeah, he's got out of it. We might as well have a bit of a go here, you know. Yeah, we get him into a, a good one and... He might um, lose the frame still. Again, can't see it, I have to say, but... Sometimes you never know. This one to travel. Has done. Can just see the red. Let's not waste our time. Let's just get on with it. Let's just concede that one. Again, we could have played on, but again, let's just start with a fresh frame. Again, I really want to avoid something stupid happening, like what happened against Ronnie O'Sullivan. Because it can easily happen. Let's just go and get this match won before we do anything stupid. We've got him into a snooker, though, straight away, so that'll help. That opens things up ever so slightly. Bit of a half chance here, I fancy it. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Lovely shot. Lovely pot. And now it's the turn of the, the weird and wacky snooker. Lost the cue ball a tad there. Yeah, because this is on the, the cushion, it makes it a bit trickier, but it still should be alright, I think. This is a tricky one along the cushion. Lovely pot. Four. I think it might just be riding our luck a bit though here, so uh, I think it is probably safety time. Well, it goes. Hard Don't pop this here. into the middle pocket, whatever you do. Oh my god. It's gone in, hasn't it? It's gone in. Oh, we did. I think we did that earlier on, actually. And it would have been a terrible safety as well, because we'd have left a red on. This is a half so chance. all parts of that shot were terribly wrong. No, not this time. Seriously, we need to... What, what are we doing? You popped that one 99 times out of 100. Why can we not get to the bloody winning line? And by the way, for those of you thinking, what? Surely this is, you know, what? What's he doing? Honestly, this isn't scripted or anything. I just don't know what's going on. How do we play so well for the first two frames, and then we're just capitulating? Trouble is, all I can see in my mind is those dodgy memories of when we played against Ronnie. Luckily, he's going to play a safety. Now, as I say, we need to sort oh, ourselves out here. Eight. He 
We should be okay. Down at the green, though. <laughs> this is the problem sometimes when, uh, you know, when you are worried or something happens, you, your luck can often run out. She was playing safe, though. I'm surprised at that. I thought we might have gone for the jugular and gone for the pot. But maybe not. Maybe they're all not like me. Need a bit of help here. I overhit that one. Yeah, he has got a chance here if he wants to go for it, which it looks like he is. And he does. One. And that is an excellent shot. But amazingly, he's not on the black. Mark Williams. Oh, flipping heck. Just no words at this point. You'll be conscious of not overhitting this. Can't do anything the easy way, can we? <laughs> that wasn't great. My, my my plan basically wasn't to whack into them there. You're disappointed with that shot. Okay, okay it leaves something on, but you know how good I am at getting out Williams, snookers. Four, one. And it almost feels like the tide has changed here. We're the one we were we were <laughs> we were mocking him. It's very much a role reversal. This needs to be played at the right pace. Eight. Is he on the pink here? No. Or is he? He is. Fourteen. I don't get that camera angle. Fifteen. Oh, and he's potted the red. He's going to bring you back to 5-3. And it's absolutely game on at 5-3. It's definitely a bottle problem with us. I don't know what it is. But how can we keep getting into these positions and just bottling it? Twenty-two. It's not all lost though, just yet. Again. Mark Williams, twenty-two. Keep saying it's not all lost. The only reason Mark Williams plays a shot like that is because he knows that he hasn't got another chance. Attempting to swerve the cue ball here. Oh. I mean, we got away with that in one aspect. It just shows how just a slight he's managed to get change snooker, but I think of percent can chance. affect where the cue ball goes. We got away with it from one aspect. In another, he's got a choice it's of reds. Really tricky. You can't miss it at this pace, can he? No. I keep right saying it, but it's is. not ringing true. We keep, need to book our ideas up. Here. He's played that very well. One, seven. Eight. So I think he's going to win two in a row, and momentum's a marvellous thing in snooker. Fourteen. I mean, he's, he's potting shots that he never dreamed of potting on, potting earlier. Give the AI a chance at your peril, basically. 15. It's amazing how things can change. Top players are top players for a reason. 21. 22. And that's um, two in a row now. Two Thank frames you. in a row. I just concede it and get on with the next one. Well played to take that I know it's a bit unsporting, but you know I'm starting to get a bit worried now. It's almost like we need to get out of here. However, this is probably the best chance we're going to get. Knocked a few reds open with that aggressive play on the break. Let's just breathe a bit. We've got a few reds. Let's get in here. Let's get comfortable and uh, do what we did at the start of this match. Because if we don't, to sink this and he wins this corner. frame, it's then 5-4. <laughs> and it's nice a two-frame shootout then. Quality queuing there. Really and good. the alarm bells really start to ring. Six.
If we go and win this frame, it'd be like, well, why did you make anything of that? There was no need to. That's an unforced error. Oh, seven. oh my god. He'll be aware of the When it's not going so for you, it's really not going space. for you. We play a safety. And, uh, well, it's not too bad, is it? We leave one shot on, which from that isn't too bad. But how do you only make seven from that opportunity? He's looking at this red. That's a top shot. It's surely, it can't be happening again. It cannot be happening again. Eight. I just don't. I just don't have any words at this point. If we lose this match, and that's that's the problem. Once you get into that mentality, sixteen, you put so much pressure on yourself. You know, five one up. You've almost got that entitlement. You've got to go and win. Five four. It's anybody's. Twenty four. Wasn't the best best split in the world. Twenty five. But Mark Williams, all of a sudden, is up for this again. 32. A bit unfortunate with sure the split there. there. 39. He's not going to do it in one visit, but again, it's going to be that classic safety battle. And to be fair, Mark Williams' safety is, is, has been top-notch. He's looking to get the cue ball safe and tights the cushion here. Oh, flipping Nick. I mean, we get away with one there, but I don't know what's happened. I don't know if you just run out of luck sometimes. I really don't know. One. <sighs> I mean, I played the shot with the least risk there. Just a soft shot off the red. Get back up the bulk. We hit it a few percent too hard. <clears throat> we miss the red and uh, end up coming back up. Nine. Hitting them and uh, leaving one on. Sixteen. What the hell has happened? Seventeen. It's amazing how quickly, if your opponent's in anyway, how quickly these frames can evaporate. It's 56 ahead, there's 5 reds left on the table, so there's 67 left on the table. That should be it. With the black. I just concede the frame and get on with it. I just can't believe this. We've got, I think we've got to win this one because if we go to a decider, I really can't see us winning this match. That wasn't a good shot. God. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know what to say at this point. We've got away with one there. That's what I can say, most certainly. Let's just hope for some luck. I really don't know what we're doing wrong. But everything we are doing seems to be going to pot. Pardon the pun. Again, would... Would the pink be covering that pocket beforehand? Probably not. And I appreciate it's not completely covering the pocket. We can get the red pass, but I wouldn't like to chance it. Wouldn't like to chance that at all at the moment. Oh, 
Well, Mark Williams has left a chance here. Pop this and we've got a good chance. Really and it's nice there. We've got the opening red. Doesn't really mean anything though unless we can make the most of it and capitalise. Potted the black, but that's gone too far. Hit that one too hard. Eight. Uh, we might be all right, actually. The trouble is, yeah, pot that, and what do we pot next? That's the, that's my conundrum. See, that was the smart way to do things there. We have left him a half chance. Neil Robertson, eight. But he's not going to take it on. He's left stuff. He's left us a half chance. I wouldn't fancy that. Well, we can see that red, but he's missed it. He's missed the red. Is this our chance now? Get to a bit of rhythm. Pot a few bloody balls. I was going to say something a lot worse there. Pot a few bloody balls. Oh, my God. What? <sighs> We're going for position on the pink there, by the way. It's amazing how your game can just crumble. High quality play here. He's found some form. That's for sure. <laughs> Neil folds. Neil, Neil, Neil. Pace. I'd like to win the match. I don't think there's much form going on at the moment. Seven. This pink's been a bloody bugger. It really is. Excuse my French. Apparently, I was told once that French, uh, bugger, not French is a swear word, but bugger apparently is a swear word. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh. Oh my God. Let's just get up to bulk. Neil Robertson, 14. I don't know what to say anymore because I feel like whatever I say will just jinx us. He's potted the red. One. And he's got to play a good shot here to get on something. And would you know he has? Four. You know, semi finals are our banana skin. This would be the biggest semi final banana skin. I just don't know what's gone wrong. Eleven. You think at five one it's all over? You're gonna win one of the next five, surely, after winning four out of the last four. <clears throat> well, not on the current evidence. Big shot this. He's potted it. He's opened up the reds. That's not the best split. Not the best split, I agree. And, uh, well, just a safety. Mark From the Welsh potting machine. That's okay. I'll deal with that because these two... That you can probably see most are in on the cushion. I wouldn't fancy him going for either of those, and he doesn't. Wow. And he's gone in off. That doesn't really help us out too much. Let's give us this little bit of a sniff. It might be worth see, bringing the cue ball over. Probably as much as we can, actually. Yep, yeah, that's the best angle. Let's pop this red. We are level on score, so every red matters here. 
I think we're going to get through here. It's going to have to be scrappy. And that is the sort of luck we could have done with. And we've got it. Let's get through to this bloody final, shall we? No more mucking about now. Yes, he's taking the pot on. Great pot. Good Just pot there. For a shot. Superb. Remember when we did this against Ding no. Junhui? Not in this tournament, but in the last tournament, actually, in the quarterfinal. We were, uh, well, no, you know, we're, we're undecided and we've got a chance. We'll get through and then huh, we played a stupid red. Didn't pot it and Ding won. So we've got to be careful we avoid that. It's not quite the... Um, permutations here that it would have been against Ding. Obviously, we've got another frame if this one doesn't quite work out. But I wouldn't fancy us in a decider, as I've just said. That could have finished a little better. Could have ended better, I agree, but... 23. Still okay. He's lining up the long red to the corner here. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. 24. Lord, it's all come out when you start potting things, don't they? Hmm. There's some part of me that doesn't fancy that yellow. Some... Potentially my gut saying no. I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. And there was something about the blue that I thought, yes, we can pot Tremendous that. Pot. And we do. 29. Gently does it. Thirty. So we're thirty points ahead. We know what a prolific long potter Blue he is. Blue makes so it thirty-five. The next red on the cushion makes it thirty-six. Not sure why he played it like that. And we could do with a black, really. Need a lot of faith in this pocket if this is going to go right. So I think we ought to just play it a bit softer. This really is tricky. And go for the blue. Tremendous. It's there. Brilliant. And the cue ball is finished very nicely. Play the blue. Try and split this pink and red up. But with the blue, we'll be 41 ahead. With 43 left in the frame. Bit of luck here. We've got it. We've got it. Thank God for that. 41. I don't know what's happened in the last five frame, uh, the last four frames. But at least it looks like we're going to win this fourth one. And uh, by hook or by crook, we're going to get through to the, the final. You know, if, we'd, if we'd have got through 6-1, it would have been what a performance from us. I think trouble is, certainly in my mind anyway, it'll be, well, you know... What on earth did... How did we <laughs> only win that one 6-4? But you know what? As I said, does it matter? Absolutely not. And this is a challenging shot along the cushion. We're 47 ahead. Could do with this one just dropping in. I don't think it is, actually. So Mark Williams might come back to the Bill table. Wilson. He doesn't. Frame we are through frame. to our first frame. ranking frame. final of the season. He's done it into the final. What a result. It's our first final overall. No, it isn't. Of course it isn't. We played... Um... No, it is. It is. It's our first final of the season. Um, because obviously we got knocked out of the Shanghai Masters semi-final. So a great result. We've done what we couldn't do last year. It took longer than I thought it could have done. But finally we got our bottle in the end. I mean, a highest break of only 69. But we got through. That's all that matters. And we play, rather predictably, another mark in the final. Mark Selby for the prize £150,000 and the China Championship Trophy. Big, big ga gain that'll be. If we can get the hundred and fifty grand, that will be massive for our ranking stats. It puts us back in the game again. But we'll be back on um, Wednesday for the start of the final. We'll play the first six frames on Wednesday's episode. Then on Friday, we'll play the next six. And then on Monday's episode, this time next week, you'll see who is crowned the China champion of the world. Thank you for watching. I've been TIJ Gaming. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys on Wednesday 
for the start of the final. See you guys then.